Well, this is the skeleton of a, a, a pygmy sperm whale that um, uh, stranded uh, some years ago in the Azores, and um, very kindly the veterinary um, professor uh, buried it and uh, gave it to us, um, or rather lent it to us, and uh, we've been trying to reconstruct it. Unfortunately, it was left in the ground rather a long time, so that the bones all got very porous, and I've had to uh, sort of strengthen them and paden them, broke its jaw and all. But uh, it's quite good fun to put this together, and it's an, an added thing, because this is a sperm whale, in that um, it used to be uh, put in the family with, with the uh, big sperm whale, uh, but the pygmy sperm whale and the um, dwarf sperm whales were moved out into another family. They were largely put in the family because they had this uh, big recess in the top of their skull with uh, a spermaceti organ in it. The spermaceti was very different when I came to test it. It, um, uh, it does actually freeze at high temperatures, but it's only... 25 degrees instead of at 30 degrees and by studying the uh, nose I found that it, it uh, is used for a totally different purpose to buoyancy. Um, it's used as a controller of the sound and it's very sophisticated. Uh, wonderful apparatus because it only fits in the little back part uh, and yet it does a, um, an incredible sophisticated job of uh, controlling sound production. Uh, for um, uh, sonar. However, we won't go into that, but um, it got me interested in this little whale, and uh, I've looked at the food in the same way. They, they eat the same species of squid as the sperm whales, but smaller ones and uh, slightly different uh, uh, amounts. Does that mean they do not dive that deep? They do dive very deep. Um, as far as we know, they are a deep diver, and everybody uh, immediately um, uh, have said, well, um, does this use this for buoyancy in the same way as the big one? And so one of the attacks of the theory on the big one was that the, the, the little one had a much smaller uh, spermaceti um, sac and uh, it, it was in proportion to the body, uh, it was too small to really control its buoyancy. So uh, I was interested to look at its function, and its function certainly isn't buoyancy, it's, um, uh, it's uh, the um, uh, control of sound. And then the question is, well, if the sperm whale has this big problem with buoyancy, and this is going as deep, why isn't this having the same problem? Well, it's it's the nature of the physics that uh, as you get bigger, um, the relationship of stability, which depends on volume, changes to uh, instability, which depends on surface area, differently. So that a very big animal has no has much more problem if it loses its stability to keep to get back to stable because its surface area is less than its volume uh, in, in relation to its volume. But, so this, being a small animal, wouldn't have that problem or very much less of a problem. So that's why it can use this from a different pur purpose. That's the more or less uh, the 